Today I want to talk to you about staying on track with the Lord. I'm here on a railroad track. You know, in the railroad, uh, the, the train must stay on this track in order to reach its destination. And so I'm asking you today to consider where you are with the Lord and with your life with the Lord and are you on the track that he wants you to be on to reach your purpose and your destiny, your destination? You know, and it says in Proverbs uh, chapter 3, in verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. And the King James says he will direct your pathway. You know, and many people, they start out okay with the Lord, and then they start uh, getting derailed. Uh, the enemy tries to come and kill, steal, and de destroy their purpose and their destiny and what God wants them to do, and they become derailed. Uh, they, they do not reach uh, their potential. They do not reach uh, the, the height that God wants them to be. And so I'm asking you today to consider this matter about staying on track uh, with the Lord. How can we do that? And, and I would like for, uh, to direct your attention to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. This is a very important uh, factor involved in staying on track with, with the Lord. And it's found in Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. All the things that you need to fulfill your purpose is given to you by the Holy Spirit. And so as we seek the kingdom first and God's righteousness, and we know that Jesus has been made into us, righteousness, sanctification, redemption. He has been made unto us righteousness. And that's what it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. And so as we seek that kingdom of God first, then our minds are going to be on the things of God. Our bodies are going to want to do the right thing. Uh, our spirit man is leaping at the things, the spiritual things that God has for us. And we're going to stay on the right track with the Lord. And let me say this. It says here, as we go on to read in Matthew 6, uh, verse 34, it says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has sufficient evil in it. And so he says, don't be concerned. Don't be worried about tomorrow because God is going to take care of the things that you need uh, for tomorrow. And so the future lies in the hands of the Lord. And as we go down this track and we stay on this track, we're going to reach our destination. You know, uh, there was a, a little chorus that the Lord gave me uh, years ago, and it was it's called the glory train. Uh, get on the glory train. You know, the train that leads to, to where the Lord is, where we can be in His presence and, and seek His kingdom and His righteousness. Um, take a step higher. Sing it unto Jesus. We're on the glory train. Hallelujah. We're on the glory train. Take a step higher. Sing it unto Jesus. We're on the glory train. And I'm going to ask you again. Have you been derailed by the enemy? Have you been distracted by things uh, that have come into your life? Situations and people that have come into your life and have, have derailed you from your real destiny in life. I am asking you today to get back on track. I'm going to pray for you in a few moments that you will 
come back and get up back on the right track with the Lord and that you will not lean into your own understanding, but that you will trust in the Lord with all your heart. I pray for you today that this message will go down deep into your spirit. You know, it's a short message, but I believe it's a message straight from the heart of God that he wants his people back on track, back seeking his kingdom and his righteousness, back on the track of reaching their destiny and purpose. And so I just pray for you right now. If there's been any hindrances in your life, any sickness, any mental um, anxiety and worry, uh, if there's been any cares of this world that have come in to, to derail you and get you off track, that the Lord will uh, take those away from you, take those stumbling blocks away from you, so that you can go down this this uh, this track in the glory train, and that you can just come into the presence of Almighty God, where there's fullness of go uh, joy and pleasures forevermore. You know, this track right here... Um, is, is still used. It is used by a train that comes uh, to the University of Georgia. And so this track that I'm on right now is still being used. And there's a train that comes down here uh, quite often. And so the Lord wants you to be on the right track. And the way we get there is by seeking the kingdom of God first and His righteousness. Not letting worry and anxiety and the cares of this world come in and choke out what God has already given us. Stay on track and reach your destiny. God bless you and thank you for viewing.